Let's talk about down dog. Down dog is the final position in your vinyasa flow. The vinyasa flow being chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. When we're talking about down dog, um, this is a position that is referred to as a resting pose, but for beginners or even for people who have been practicing for a couple years, it doesn't always feel like a resting pose. It takes a while to get the um, stretch, the looseness through the hamstrings, as well as the strength through the shoulders for this to feel like a pose where you can really catch your breath in. So don't take it personal if someone says this is a resting pose and it doesn't feel that way to you. But we are going to talk about the right way to get into down dog and then we'll put our full vinyasa flow together after we go through this pose. All right, down dog, just like with chaturanga and up dog, your hands are never moving away from their position under the shoulders on the mat. We're gonna start from our tabletop here. Those hands are grounded right underneath the shoulders. And then we're taking a moment to get tight to get strong through the shoulder blades. The way we're doing that is to rotate the creases of the elbows forward. Now remember, if you're lowering into chaturanga and coming into up dog, those elbows are staying back. So it makes sense that the creases of the elbows have to be forward so that as you're bending through the arms, they're staying in close to the body. What this also does is it gives us more stability between the shoulder blades. So if you're here, you can feel there's a lot more mobility when you start to bring the creases forward, you're getting a little bit more strong between those shoulders. Right from tabletop, curl your toes under and start by bringing the hips back and bringing those hips off the ground. The first thing we're trying to do is get a long line from our hands to our tailbone. Once you have that long line, then you can think about starting to straighten out the legs. I'm going to widen my stance a little bit here. All right, what I see a lot is people forward like this. You're doing a lot more work in your arms here. What you need to be trying to do is getting that stretch through the shoulder blades, that openness so that you can get your head between those arms and not by looking back, but by bringing that chest back towards the feet. So the first thing you want to do is really get that length from the fingertips to the tailbone, reaching those hips up and back, nice and strong through the shoulder blades. This is building our strength in the shoulders. Once you have that, then you want to start reaching the heels towards the ground. It doesn't matter how close they come to the ground and letting the inner thighs rotate back. So we're internally rotating our legs here, feeling that big opening on the hamstrings. Start to slow down your breath in your down dog. You might feel slippery here. Sometimes it's hard to maintain this. Sometimes it feels really good. Feeling my triceps doing a lot of work here as well. The more you can get those hips back, the more weight it takes out of the arms. Let's take two more breaths here. And go ahead, come back down to your tabletop and sit back. All right, that's your down dog. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.